Hey, how's it going guys? This is Bright Ralph, and today I'm going to actually bring you guys a video, which is, it's been a while. Lately I've been doing a lot of live streaming instead because it's so much easier and simpler and to get the videos out. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just easier basically. Um, but anyway, so what I'm bringing you today is something I actually did a live stream of yesterday. And I, I was doing a live stream of a, of a game, of a, well, a website slash a, a, a program. It's called Game Jolt. It's like Steam. And um, it offers, except it offers nothing but indie games, and all the indie games are free. Now, some people who sell their games on Steam have Steam have like unfinished versions of it up on Game Jolt or demos. So not every single one of them is a full game, but most of them, like 90% of them, are full games and they're all free. Now, of course, because it's an open source, um, not open source, but because it's an open um, uh, thing, unlike Steam, where you have to get voted on and so on and so forth. And, Someone has to look into it from Steam and so on. Um, this is just anybody can put their game on it. So that's a that's a good thing because all the good games will be on there. Um, you don't have to worry about good stuff not being voted in or whatever. But the bad part is that obviously there's tons of trash. And I mean a shit ton of, of, of trash on there. And, but I found this. It's it's It was on there. Although, of course, it's not only on there. They have their own website and stuff. But... I found it on there. It's called it's called New Retro Arcade version four, and um, <clears throat> it's I've seen two things like this before. I saw something not quite like this, but similar on the Xbox 360 uh, arcade marketplace, where you could build your own arcade. You could actually play some machines in real time, and blah 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 blah. This you can't do that, but you can't actually build your arcade up nonetheless. Uh, but you just don't do it like while you're in the engine and moving the things around um, They kind of stay like you can't move the arcade machines and stuff like that But you can move other objects um, and replace them and I'll, I'll get to that um, But uh, then there's another one like this that's actually on Steam that um, I It was okay But the graphics weren't very good and um, just the everything else just felt Like it didn't felt put together like this this is basically what I thought that was going to be, and this is what that should have been. Um, so then there's this, which is basically, it's like an old school arcade, and you can change everything in it. You can go into this editor, and you can change out the layout of the cat, the pictures on the cabinets, and the marquees, and the picture on the screen to match the ROM you choose for that cabinet. And then you can change the posters on the wall, and there's a TV with a Super Nintendo, and a Sega, and there's Sega. And, and um, 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 uh, Nintendo games, actually it's a Famicom, but you can put, you actually pick up the cartridges and put the cartridges in the machine and then you play on, you pick up the controller and you look at the big TV and you play on the TV and when you play on the arcade machines, you know, like the joystick moves when you move and, and the buttons press in and it's really detailed. There's also a bowling lane and you can actually sort of bowl on. More just like throwing a ball at the pin, but I mean it's not like you know what you would expect necessarily. And this, you can't turn this off, um, but because I don't want you to play really quickly, uh, you can put in a tape that doesn't work if you don't want me to stop. Oops. There we go. See, you don't want music. You have to put in a thing, and you can move all this stuff around. Like if you want to. You know, redesign it. You can put it there if you want, or you want. Oh, I kind of screwed that up, but you can put that there. You know, you pick up the Game Boy, and yes, you can actually play this. Let me show you. Oh, let me. Um, well, my controller is not plugged in. Let me do that. Crap. Come on. Totally unprepared. <laughs> I mean, I was, but I forgot my controller wasn't plugged in. Okay, where the fuck? Okay, oops. Come on, what the heck? Usually doesn't give me this much trouble. There we go. So, yeah. You can actually play it. See the buttons and the D-pad and the start button. Everything actually gets pressed in when you press it. <laughs> I 
Um, and the options, you, you, um, this, it looks backlit because, well, obviously the, this model isn't backlit in real life, but in the uh, game options, uh, before you launch the game, <clears throat> you can, you can uh, turn the Game Boy backlight on, just, you know, so it's not like dark and shit. But yeah, um, you can, there's other, you can't put new cartridges in them, there's just, um, <clears throat> there's other Game Boys laying around all over the place that you basically, the only reason for that is so that you, you can have all your games, you know, because you can't interchange cartridges or whatever, so, see there's one, but yeah, so I, I thought this was really cool, I thought it was definitely cool enough to make a video about, um, I hope you guys think, uh, think the same thing. I, I thought it was really sweet. Like I've always, I, like I said, I played a couple of these, and I've always wanted uh, one. But the other two I played just never weren't. And this one's not perfect either. I mean, it's definitely not perfect. But it's the other ones I just played for like you know 30 or 40 minutes. It was like, yeah, this isn't where it needs to be. <clears throat> this one is like, yeah, this is exactly where I want, except for a few little minor issues, which are fine. So yeah, I really, really like it. I'll show you the bowling real quick. You can, um, there's nothing, just a dead end down there of the machine. It's just a blank machine. Um, so, yeah, you pretty much just throw the ball at the pins, and that's that. It works, though. It keeps score up here, too. Oh, nice. I think it keeps score. Oh, yep, that's what I thought. And of course, if you want, you know, there's nothing keeping you from doing something like this. <laughs> but that's kind of cool, you know, I mean, you're only probably going to do it a couple times. And yes, you can actually do this. I'll show you. Although, it, you, you can take a basketball and do it. Um, all this stuff gets reset, by the way, like any where you put anything or... Anything you do in here that has to do with physics, like everything, it basically it gets reset when you load it up again. But yeah, you can do that. If you want, although it doesn't trigger the thing. Uh, but yeah. Let's play some bubble wobble. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Look, see. Bubble Bobble is a, a, a classic. Everybody likes Bubble Bobble. I mean, anyone who played it, I, I don't know anyone who had, didn't play Bubble Bobble that doesn't like it. I, of course, like, this is the original Bubble Bobble. I like the Bubble Bobble that's, um, uh, the one I like better is, uh, it's not new, it's still old school, but it, but it, but it came out way later on, um, where you, it's basically like one of those color matcher things where you, you shoot the balloons, like you use a little thing and you shoot the balloons and you gotta touch other the same color balloons. It's the same characters and stuff, it's just, uh, I think that one's better. But yeah, this is still pretty fun, actually. Unfortunately, the music never changes and it gets old pretty fucking quick. <laughs> Uh, no! But this makes playing your ROMs, like, now granted you can't have, you know, you can't move the machines around, you can't make the room bigger or anything like that, so it is somewhat static. I mean, it's fully customizable, except the objects are static, like the, the cabinets anyway. But, and, and that kind of sucks, but it's not a huge deal. The thing is, though, is that obviously you can't have all your ROMs in here, so you'd either have to, like, have different loadouts that you can load up real quickly, or... There is a tool um, where you can just go into the thing before you launch this, and you can just uh, launch 
uh, it launches a blank 3D space with just one cabinet or whatever you want to play. And it's real simple, so you can just do that, boom, boom, boom. Um, and then just keep these for like your all-time favorites or something. But yeah, to me, this is the best way to play ROMs. Like, it really is. Like, obviously, you know, I have a controller too. You, you want a controller for sure. Uh, Xbox One controller is perfect for any controller needs. I mean, um, it's, you know, it's the best controller there is available. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, it's pricey. You know, you're not going to get it for $25, but, uh, I don't know. I paid, I, I think I got, I, I got, I waited a while and I got this one on it was on sale for like 45 bucks on Amazon. Um, they're usually like 50 or 60 bucks though, so. Come on, dude, we get up here. Ah, I hit the wrong button, damn it. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a huge ROM player, you know, like, I do own every NES, SNES, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy uh, Advance or something like that, um, Sega Genesis, um, I own, like, every game on ROM for just about all, for, like, all the mainstream systems, um, cartridge-based as well, I, I don't usually do the CD-based, because you gotta get the BIOSes, it's a pain in the frickin' ass to find the BIOSes sometimes, and, and uh, it's just meh. But uh, yeah, I, I, I own all the mainstream um, uh, ROM games on, on cartridge systems. And I don't hardly ever play them, but this is just <laughs> this makes it fun to go back and play them. Honestly, because I got tired of playing emulators because it just it, like emulators are such a pain in the ass. Honestly. But this pretty much, I mean, you have to set it up and everything, but yeah, it's, it's real simple. Totally free. Um, it's, the funny thing is, the one on Steam um, is free, but but I think, yeah, no, that, it is, it's free, never mind. I was going to say, I think you have to pay, I think there's like in-app purchase, but there's not. I was mistaken. Oh. Okay, this level is tricky. No. No, leave me alone. I'm up here, like it. Ah. What? Come on, fucker. Get up here. Trying, but these fuckers take forever sometimes to get to you. Come on. Oh crap. Okay. Got it. Boom. God, I haven't played this game in fucking forever. I think I think the last time I played it was actually at the arcade, like when I was a kid. Oh crap. Yeah, because I always liked the other Bubble Bobble better. The, I don't think it was called Bubble Bobble. I think it was called Bubble something. But it's the same little dinosaur characters. And it's made by the same people. Ah, oh, crap. So yeah, I mean that's you know for the, I mean that's there's not a whole lot more to show. I mean you get you get the idea and the buttons all work and you know you get the idea. So, but I just think it's really cool. I mean I I definitely think if you're gonna play ROMs, this is the way to do it. It's pretty damn cool.
and it runs good. I mean, I have it on max settings, and it looks pretty good. I mean, it could look better, but no, it looks good. It looks really nice, and uh, you know, it doesn't seem to have performance issues at all. I mean, you know, it, uh, yeah. so yeah. As you can see, my FPS. Um, you just hit the uh, on my controller. It's the uh, left bumper. Boom. Yeah, I like. I have a 360 controllers too, and I always use them on PC. You know, before the Xbox One. But when the Xbox One came out, I thought I looked at the controller. And I thought, yeah, that's going to be a better controller. And um, I mean, as far as like usability, there's really no difference. You know, like I mean, uh, it's not better in the sense that. Uh, it's not better in the sense um, of like usability. It doesn't make it doesn't make you know playing games better or whatever. It's the same joysticks and shit. I'm sure uh, you know most like it's got different rubber pads actually though, and they actually um, your finger your thumbs grip them a lot better than the original 360 controller pads and the um, I just. The shape is almost exactly the same, but it's a li just a little bit more, um, uh, I don't know, it just fits your hand better. Uh, yeah, I like it better. So let's see, uh, there's a command, old school. Wait, let's play, where is it? Uh, here we go. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite arcade games. I've always been a like I've always been a racing game fan. And um, yeah. Well, I said that. I I I kind of explained this game and everything. And I've seen all three of the cabinets. You can stand up, sit down, and the sit down that's motorized that moves around and shit. Um, that one's extremely rare. And you like, I've only seen that, I think, maybe, I think, I'm pretty sure once, I might, I, maybe twice, but. Oh, no. Ooh, master. Maybe this game is why I love Ferrari so much, I, I don't know, but I, I just know I've always really liked Ferrari, oh shit, this might have had a big influence on it to be honest. I think it was this and uh, probably other games and probably movies combined, that was like my uh, you know, car as a kid. Everyone had their car. That was the Ferrari with mine. I'll try to do better this time. I always like that there are two there two uh, there are two directions you could go. Okay. <laughs> the 
classic gauntlet. That's always good. It's always good. So yeah, this is the default and um, the default setting setup. Um, when you download the game, it comes with nothing, um, like no artwork, nothing. Everything's blank, um, and it's just empty with no ROMs and no artwork. The reason being is because um, not really the artwork is an issue, but the ROMs are the, the, the issue. They can't legally distribute their software with the ROMs. They can send you to a website, you know, and say, hey, we suggest you go in here. They have a pack that we set up, you know, and then we hosted it on some file hosting, whatever. And it's their default pack with their default setup. So this is the default setup that you can um, add to the to add to the game. Or you can just, if you have your own collection, which I do, I just didn't feel like fucking with it. You can start from scratch if you want. Um, oh. Come on. <laughs> I always hated that bar right there. It always, like, on these things, it always made you feel like you had to throw it too high for it to go in, or you had to back up and, like, do it at a real high angle so that it falls in. Like, it, it just, uh, they, they were set up to be, you know, not impossible, but just a pain in the ass. Whatever. I, I've made a couple dunks before, but it's uh, not easy. Oh. Damn, it hit the back rim a little bit. Come on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> now this is this is a classic game, obviously. Um, you don't own her. Blah 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 blah. Well, who says I don't own this cartridge? I own a lot of NES cartridges, actually. <clears throat> It's so stupid, it's like, if you own the NES cart, you know, a cart that was made fucking, you know, 25 fucking years ago that nobody gives a shit about, then you can legally play the bomb? That makes no fucking sense. It's like, if I own the cartridge, why would I even want to play? Like, that makes no sense. It's like, when well, you're still downloading a ripped ROM or accessing it somehow, so... You know, it's kind of like, oh, you can rip your own DVD. Like, if you buy the DVD, you're allowed to rip it, you know, but not distribute it. Not or give it away, but you can rip it. And that doesn't make sense. Like, why would why would I want to... Well, I actually know I have some friend. I, well, I have a friend I know of who has um, this uh, ripping software. I don't know why he paid for it. Um, I guess he couldn't find any free ones that worked. I, I have no... One of those media player rip CDs, um, just fine. But I'm talking about movies, though. But yeah, he he downloaded one, and uh, he he rips all his movies and saves them just so he has them digitally. I'm like, that's so weird because people usually buy them physically. Like if they, if they buy them physically, they want it because they want it physically, not digitally. It's it's just weird. I don't know. I don't get that. It's like the ones who complain about, oh, CDs are dead, but I love CDs. I don't want them to go away, and I want to go to the store and buy CDs all the time. But at the same time, I rip every single one of my CDs. You know, and then they also say things like, oh, well, you know, I don't like digital, digital sucks. And I'm like, um, you do realize that CD is a digital format, right? And that all of your music on there are fucking digital files from a computer. So it's really the same exact, it's, it's the same exact thing. <laughs> I don't know, people just, uh... But anyway, yeah, this is a classic, guys. I've always loved that game. And of course, you have. I didn't show this one off. Flappy Bird. Now, I heard that this is actually uh, in an arcade somewhere. I don't like for real, for real. Obviously, it's not. You know, it's just some mobile game that some dude made. And I don't know why it was popular in the first place. To be completely honest, but I mean, it's cool. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a fine little game. Um, I just. 
I don't know why it had like had such a huge craze about it. I don't I don't get it. I mean, this is it. Obviously, it's gonna look better because this isn't the real Flappy Bird. I think this is a uh, clone. But this is this is the gameplay. This is what you do, Flappy Bird. Exactly the same. It's fucking stupid. I mean, seriously, you could have made this in Unreal Engine 4. Um, you can make 2D games like this real easily in Unreal Engine 4. You could have made this in Unreal Engine 4 if you knew what you were doing and made a couple of games beforehand <laughs> in like an hour or two. You know, not, not I mean, not uh, to make the assets might add another hour on top of that. Maybe like 30 minutes, but... Ugh. Oh my god. show you guys the uh, let me put in there we go and yeah it just like fucking talks along the ground <laughs> dude this is pretty sweet now I don't know where the Sega is because there is I have seen a couple Sega games on the racks um, see look there's one you guys see it right there See? But I've never seen a Sega console in here, so. I think you can add ROMs in and just load them up directly, like that method I was talking about earlier in the video. But. I have no idea what that says, by the way. <laughs> yes, we all know. This is a great game, though, for sure. This is this is the one. This is the Zelda that started it all as to like how it is now. You know, like, because the one on NES, obviously, the NES was so basic. They couldn't really make it uh, what they wanted it to be. This is, this is when it became what it, what it was going, you know, what it was, what it was going, to, what it defined. It was what, what defined it was going to be in the future. Now, when you guys download this and play it initially, the screens on the, the machines, and even the TV, are going to look like complete ass. Like, well, what it does is it, it, it puts in the scan lines uh, to make it, it, it puts in a blur, it puts in scan lines, and then it also puts in that weird, like, color dis, like, discoloration, like those waves that you would see if you're looking at it from the side, maybe, or something. And it puts in all of that, all on top of each other, and it's way too much of each one. It's over, over, over exaggerated. And it makes it so bad to where, like, when you're playing some of your ROMs, you can't even tell what's going on because the colors are so blurred out and distorted, and and there's shit over on like lines on top of it, and then you, it's just stupid. 
Um, but you, uh, for a while there, I thought you couldn't disable it, so I was not happy with the program. But then I realized that you can. Um, you have to go. To, it's a pain in the butt, though. You have to click on each machine. And then go over to the video mode and put them in HD. And you have to do that for every single machine, including the TV and everything. Um, and since there's like I think what 18 machines, and then the TV, and then the Game Boy too, is a pain in the butt. But well, I look like I think I think I think I left the Game Boy alone for you know classicness. But yeah, I just couldn't handle it. If it if it wasn't if it if the dude who made this didn't over exaggerate those the um that stuff, then it would be fine. And there's just a little bit of it. But yeah, it was it was it was horrible. It was so over exaggerated. Uh, fuck you. So yeah, that's pretty cool, and there's there's a bunch of cartridges like all over, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So if you wanted to just load up a cartridge like without doing all this, then you could just like I said, you go to the, it's like a little launcher where you can control everything from, and you go in there and you can just launch any game directly, and it just it's like a 3D space with that carpet, but there's no walls. It's like an empty void. And it just goes on forever, and it just puts that one machine like in the in the middle of it, and you're standing right in front of it. Uh, that you pick so that, you know if you don't want to dick around you can get to them a lot quicker that way where is oh yeah here we go actually no uh, well you know we'll do a round of Frogger for sure And then we'll end it there, so... What happened? Oh, there's a bug on it, wasn't there? Oh, crap. Okay, I totally suck. We gotta do that again. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I haven't played Frogger in forever, like the original. No! Don't you pop up in this one. sure you all know what Frogger was. And anyway, um, that is New Retro Arcade, uh, the program called New Retro Arcade. 
And um, yeah, I just wanted to show it off to you because I think it's been out for a little while, but I, I of course just discovered it, and I think it's of course obviously I've played two like this beforehand. This definitely wins wins by far, like not even close, like by like by like 100 miles. So yeah, it's really awesome, guys. If you want a really cool way to go back and play your play your ROMs or just play some games and stuff, this is definitely the best way to do it. Um, so yeah, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please go ahead and give me a like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. It, it means a lot, and I appreciate it. Um, as always, th thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.